working in the marketing department of Mitsubishi Electric India, he worked in the technical support department of Messung Systems Private Limited and later moved to techno commercial profile. His prime responsibility includes promoting products and supporting product and solutions, pre-sales to channel partners and system integrators all over India. Today, Mr. Gajanan will walk us through remote control and monitoring. So, delegates, let's welcome Mr. Gajanan. So, as the topic was like essential techniques for uh, SMEs and MSMEs, I selected this topic of remote control and monitoring solutions. So, as such, all these solutions are available from Mitsubishi Electric. So, I will try to explain you about these solutions. These are simple solutions and actually these solutions are launched way back. So, this is not a recent phenomena as such. So we have been implementing these solutions for last few years. So just to explain you again about these, what are FA, FA is factory automation. We use this terminology in Mitsubishi, FA and PA. And then I will explain you some use cases for uh, remote control and more. What are different solutions available from uh, say Mitsubishi Electric or as such in this field of remote control and monitoring because these solutions as such are available from uh, all the players in automation field. The first one is remote monitoring. So you can remotely operate your HMI. It could be your uh, dedicated uh, HMI or even SCADA. And then you can do collection and visualization of shaft load data using this uh, remote monitoring so you can check factory KPI and other data anytime. Second one is uh, remote maintenance. So during this COVID time, this proved as a very important function, remote maintenance. So you can immediately address problems without going to the shop. So you can do remote operation of on-site PLCs, cameras, etc. Remote development. So relatively, this is a new concept. So this is an offering from Mitsubishi. So this is a cloud-based offering, uh, subscription model. So working from home, you can smoothly coordinate with partner companies as if everybody is working in the same environment, sitting at one place. So you access one location sitting at home. The last one is remote service. So this is this particular uh, solution is applicable for uh, CNCs. I will try to explain you these one by one. First, these uh, chapters as such or sections as such, and then I will explain you use cases. So this is our uh, overall picture or offering. So this is applicable for uh, all companies. It could be a smaller company as well and bigger companies also. So you can see uh, we have a cloud based server where quality information, operating information and development information will reside. And then with the products, with the help of products, it could be HMI, it could be a mobile phone with GOD mobile license, we can do remote monitoring. Then with SCADA, you can do remote monitoring. With our programming software, GXbox 3, you can do remote maintenance. And then as I said, remote development also is possible. So at a time, four people from their home can do development of one project simultaneously and then remote service. So this is particularly for CNCs. So this is just explanation how this can be done about remote development. So as you all know, a current development method or a say classical development method of a PLC project, big rather big PLC project. So the development will start and then process A will be developed by one person. Process B would be developed by another. Process C will be developed again by a third person. And then there would be corrections and then development will end. So this is a classical method of uh, programming or development. With the help of this remote development feature, okay. So all these uh, developments for process A, process B and process C can be done simultaneously. And then correction can happen and then this development will so you can see how much time we can save. This is about uh, remote monitoring. Again, uh, just to explain you, the conventional monitoring or classic monitoring is you want to understand shop floor status. So senior member in the company just want to understand maybe MD, CEO of the company just want to understand what is the shop floor status. So he will ask his assistant to contact the shop floor. Shop floor will compile the data and send it to say senior member of the company via email then there could be few things which which would be missing then again the person on the shop floor will be contacted for remaining or missing data then again shop floor person will compile data send it back so this is a big process with the help of remote monitoring there is no intervention of anybody 
there is no possibility of any manipulation so senior member of the company he can just understand what is happening on the shop floor directly without any manipulation this is the third one remote service or remote maintenance again for conventional maintenance so conventional maintenance you will understand that there is some problem you will arrange repair then the repair person will travel to site he will investigate he will understand that some spare parts are required then those parts will be again transported and then repair will happen. so this entire process can be shortened using remote investigation and this just uh, you can see the last picture the problem can be just solved with remote investigation because you are doing remote maintenance remote maintenance some remote maintenance will involve travelers so these are the concerns when you try to implement all these things from a shop floor person so he will ask that do i need a dedicated line what is a good method to connect to the internet because internet is involved it is the only media available right now for such things do i need to build a dedicated system won't the maintenance would be difficult and the most important is is it cyber safe because you will be sending data via internet i will explain you these use cases for remote monitoring remote maintenance remote service and remote development so the first use case is want to customer want to easily check equipment status from a remote location this can be done so these are the products that can be used this is applicable for plc or any equipment second use case is you just want to understand operating status of production equipment and the overall production line from a remote location again this is uh, applicable for equipment or even your line third use case is you want to monitor operating status of overall factory so this is also possible with uh, say something like a scada package this is applicable for entire line of factory fourth use case is you want just want to understand about the energy usage again this is possible with the dedicated software packages and this is again applicable for line of factory fifth use case is you want to perform centralized monitoring of multiple locations so here we are talking about multiple factories multiple locations this is again possible so this remote monitoring of these use cases starting with a single machine sixth use case is want to able to smoothly handle issues and start a production line even without engineers on the shop so no need of engineer you want to access device configuration and other relevant information for equipment requiring maintenance from a remote location remote service so want to propose remote services to users for machine groups and remote development so these were the use cases and i believe that these are the essential techniques for smes and msps thank you very much thank you very much